so guys welcome and today's the topic of our lecture is hydrothermal synthesis hydrothermal synthesis first of all we have to discuss its introduction uh, hydrothermal, uh, hydrothermal synthesis belongs to a group of synthesis techniques in which substances in high temperature and pressure aqua solution are crystallized this is also called as hydrothermal method so in hydrothermal synthesis the substances are heated at high temperature and high pressure aqua solution are crystallized then and it is also termed as hydrothermal synthesis according to bayerappa hydrothermal synthesis hydrothermal processing is an heterogeneous chemical reaction heterogeneous means two different compounds are present two different substances are present in the presence of solvent aqueous or non aqueous above room temperature at the pressure which is belongs to uh, greater than 1 atm in a closed container so hydrothermal synthesis processing include techniques such as hydrothermal synthesis hydrothermal crystal growth hydrothermal transformation hydrothermal sintering hydrothermal hydrothermal processing of nanomaterials yield high pure homogeneous symmetrical crystal uh, crystalline structures having novel properties now it is time to discuss pressure temperature plot of different synthesis procedures hydrothermal is a solution processing technique which involves processing of superheated aqueous solutions the press uh, the pressure temperature plot of different synthesis procedures is shown in figure 1 where it is apparent that hydrothermal is an environmentally benign process so it is our uh, axis axis and if we focus the graph it is our y axis we are pressure and it is our uh, temperature and it is a synthesis of uh, different materials in between kinetic uh, k e shaft felt was the first to use hydrothermal method to grow micron size quartz crystal in a pressure cooker containing as precipitated silicic acid there have been reports of synthesizing artificial diamond artificial diamond by hydrothermal process the process involves a great heat and high pressure on heterogeneous substances pressure so pressure temperature plot of different synthesis procedures hydrothermal processing is usually preferred in a steel pressure vessel also defined as autoclave where in the processing conditions are controlled by adjusting the temperatures or pressures this is our steel uh, vessel steel pressure vessel or autoclave the pressure temperature map of different synthesis procedures so the autoclave may or may not be coated with protective teflon coating so the processing is carried out in aqueous solution the figure 2 explain the process uh, temperature is uh, increased beyond boiling uh, temperature of water which is termed as supercritical uh, temperature of water attaining a pressure of vapor saturation internal pressure depending largely on temperature and the quantity of solution put in the reaction chamber the autoclave this procedure is extensively used for producing small particles in ceramic industries now come to its uh, principal and operations principles and operations of hydrothermal process 
Both chemical and physical parameters are varied steadily during processing such that here establishes a direct relation between the precursor product. Not less. This is rather a complex processing technique as a numerous interacting parameters processing variables are present which can be uh, controlled to give different results. The impact of these variables poses problems which are not yet satisfactorily resolved. The temperature controls the formation, kinetics and thermodynamic stability of product. Pressure in influences solubility, supersaturation, range and stipulating crystallization process. Also, the thermodynamic stability of the product higher pressure denser phases. To avoid the influence of the pressure generating temperature, external pressure mode is preferred since high pressure low temperature processings are possible only through high pressure hydrothermal synthesis HPHS mode. Principles and operations are continued here. The processing time too is an essential variable as formation of kinetically stable phase is favored in short terms where thermodynamically stable phases are formed in long terms. This happens as a consequence of increased solubility and recyclization of previously created phases. Nevertheless, some reactions related conditions like convention inside autoclave, the convention inside autoclave, aggregation of precursors can also affect synthetic process. Here are some methods used in hydrothermal process. The first method we have to discuss is temperature difference method. The majority of hydrothermal synthesis and crystals growths use this technique because it is uh, more easy and less expensive than other techniques. The aqueous solution containing the solute is kept at the bottom section of autoclave. The heading, the heating of autoclave results in the creation of two zones of different temperatures. The autoclave movement of solution transfers the saturation aqueous solution from lower part toward upper part of the autoclave. As the saturation solution ascends a counterflow of cool and denser solutions present in the upper part occurs. This counterflow of solution results in the descent of cooler and denser solutions toward lower end of the autoclave. As the temperature decreases, the solution in the upper part supersaturates, resulting in the onset crystallization. The second method we used are temperature reduction method technique. This is no temperature difference across the autoclave length to achieve the supersaturation which is uh, done in the previous uh, method and there after crystallization the temperature of the solution present inside the autoclave is gradually reduced. However, the difficulties involve the control of the growth process and induced seed crystals are major drawbacks of this technique due to which it is rarely employed. The next uh, technique we have to discuss is metastable phase technique. Often the solubilities of the phase required to grow and the precursor phase are not equal and this inequality is exploited in this technique. The precursor is uh, thermodynamically unstable under growth conditions. The metastable phase, the metastable phase is more soluble than the stable phase. Therefore, this metastable phase begins to dissolve. The stable phase begin crystallized. Metastable phase approach is generally used in combination with either the temperature difference or temperature reduction technique as discussed above. Hydrothermal processing of advanced materials. There are some advanced materials which are also synthesized by hydrothermal process. Hydrothermal method has been used for processing widely variety of advanced material. We will now discuss some of the most popular processing in the following sections. First of all, metallic nanoforms. Recently, nanoparticles of metals as well as metal alloys, for example, AUPT, AG, C O N I F E and F E P T, etc., have attached huge interest owing 
to their size, morphology, depending novel properties. Most of these nanoparticles are formed in nan equilibrium conditions. Hydrothermal processing has been extensively applied to prepare these structures. Metal oxide nomenclature. Synthesizing metal oxides via hydrothermal techniques has gained much attention owing to its advantage in preparing high mono dispersed nanoparticles having carefully tailored size and shape. Such metals oxide nanostructures find practical applications in highly density data storage, bioimaging, targeted drug delivery, photocatalytic electronic and optical devices. Hydrothermal processing of advanced materials. Recently, SGRI have elaborated the continuous fabrication of metal oxide nanoparticles by a supercritical water-based reaction medium. So the metal oxide nanostructures are formed by contracting the metal nitrates with supercritical water in the flow system. Very tiny particles could be formed due to supercritical water assisted rapid dehydration of metal hydroxide prior to the growth. The reactions involves are called hydrolysis of dehydration and can be written as M for metal NO3 2 plus XH2O goes to MOH2 plus XHNO3. The other method is MOHX goes to MOX by 2 plus half XH2O. Hydrothermal processing of advanced materials continued. Processing in supercritical water increases the dehydration rate. While the particles is still small in size and the particles diffuse diffusion does not affect the rate reaction. Additionally, the critical region gas like viscosity as well as the diffusivity of water result in very low mass transfer little, uh, limit leading to the overall large synthesis rate. Beside the synthesis rate is also increased due to high temperature. Metal oxide forms in this manner. It is as follows. Hydrothermal processing of advanced materials like meta sulfides. Sulfides of several ditrine pentavalent metal are interesting group with numerous technological applications and can easily prepare via hydrothermal technique. Carbon nanoforms, the carbonaceous structures, the carbonaceous structures such as uh, graphite, diamond, amorphous, and uh, diamond-like carbon, fluorescence, carbon nanotube, CNTS, etc., has been focus of colossal importance owing to exceptional size-dependent properties. However, there are uncertainties regarding their phase stability because some of these polymorphs do not appear in the pressure temperature curve of carbon. Furthermore, all these structures exhibit rather contrasting properties. Hydrothermal processing of advanced materials. Advantages. Advantages of hydrothermal processing. The hydrothermal processing prefers several merits over conventional non-synthesis techniques. The cost of instrumentation energy as well as precursors is far less in comparison to other advanced techniques. As discussed earlier, hydrothermal syn technique is uh, environmentally begin. It uh, gives good control over the particle shape and size. Synthesis of nanopowders. Nanopowders can be synthesized by either directing hydrolyzing the precursors in the autoclave at elevated temperatures. In this case, an aqueous solution containing the precursor is placed inside the autoclave or room temperature hydrothermal processing of the reaction products. In case of the crystallization rate of morpheus phase rises abruptly under the hydrothermal processing conditions. So this is our uh, today's lecture on hydrothermal processing.
if you like that lecture please like it and thanks a lot for your time goodbye